Greetings and salutations. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is an update video about my journey with Ubuntu Mate 1604 Beta. I am all about Ubuntu Mate right now. And so therefore I'm actually trying to hold myself back because I keep finding new things and I want to post a video on it. So I've gathered a few together for you guys, for those of you who care about this sort of thing. And I am going to show you some cool stuff here. First of all, this is Ubuntu Mate running on the old Dell. And if you've watched my videos, you know about this machine. This is what I consider to be my main machine. And it has a three-core Athlon processor. Each core is multi-threaded. So if you look at it in some system monitors, it'll show you six threads. But in HTOP here, it shows you three. There are eight gigs of memory in this machine. It has onboard AMD graphics. And that's why it takes like half a gig off the top for the graphics card and it's running with SSD hard drive so it's all solid state except for one drive and so anyway I decided yesterday that I was going to install Ubuntu Mate on this machine and I started at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I was done by 5 o'clock so by the time Cindy got home and she wanted to sit down and use the computer I was completely finished not only had I installed all the software, but I had done all the tweaks and had everything set up. So she came in, sat down, and she said, oh, this looks different. Clicked on Google Chrome, got online, started doing her stuff. So that was amazing. The reason why I was able to do that that quickly is because of this application right here. I want to talk a little bit more about this in a minute. But first of all, I want to show you that, yes, we are running Compiz, so I have the ability to zoom in and I have changed the font size in tilde here so I have a little bit larger makes it easier for me to see makes it easier for you to see and I have also set up a profile in the Mate terminal so that we now can have the big fonts you know how important that is so if I'm gonna do anything about Linux and I need to show you something that has to do with uh, the terminal I can have the big font version running so anyhow like I said the whole process completely starting from scratch I wiped the hard drives reinstalled the system moved all the data that I had backed up back into the machine installed all the software two hours and there's about a hundred gigabytes of data in this machine so most of that time was sitting here waiting for the data to go into the machine off the hard drive it really didn't take that long to set all this up and why is that because of this application right here this is the Ubuntu Mate welcome I have shown you this in a couple of videos I'm going to show you some things about it again because this is the rock star of the entire distribution you install it you get it installed install your updates install the codex package here now I could not do that yesterday because it doesn't appear to be working at the moment but do keep in mind that this is in beta and things change every day so once you do that next you go in here and see if you have any drivers available before you install the drivers you install all the firmware packages so that you can find your drivers then you install the drivers done and then it goes into some other things like languages and whatever that you need to choose there you can go back to the menu here and you can just go down through here and look at all the really cool stuff that they have available to you but this is probably the most awesome part of the whole system and that is the software boutique I have talked about this before what makes this so cool well you may have already heard me say that you can come in here and you can install applications like for instance if we want to put Spotify on this machine come to sound and video this category scroll down to the bottom there's Spotify this is a one-click install gang when you click this and you want to install Spotify it comes up takes your password installs it you're done to install Spotify on current versions of Ubuntu is a pain you have to go and you have to get the code to hook up the Spotify repository then you have to import a public key then you have to update the cache then you have to install it it's mostly all done from the terminal for new users to Linux this is a barrier it's like I don't know what this is this makes it easy for them to go through and get 
the most needed applications installed on the machine. And this is not everything in the Ubuntu universe that is available, but what is listed here, it doesn't matter whether it comes from the Ubuntu repository, it comes from a PPA, or it comes from a special repository. For instance, for internet, you can install Google Chrome, you can install Skype here with just a click, and it puts it on the machine. It's the absolute latest version. This is awesome. There is another aspect to this that I'm just learning about myself. The Ubuntu world is getting ready to change. Over the next couple of years or so, Ubuntu is going to be rolling out a system that they call Snap Packages, or Snappy Core Linux, which means that they're completely going to change how packages are installed. Now, don't get nervous if you're used to using your app tools. That's all still going to be there. But over time, they are going to start going to this snap package deal. And that is one of the reasons why they have gone to a different application for software installs in the standard Ubuntu desktop. Here in the Ubuntu Mate world, they have this application. And this application is dynamic. When you first install it, you can subscribe to the PPA for this particular application and every time there's an update you're going to get it which means as this software changes as snap packages become available as this paradigm shifts and we move toward this new way of doing things you're going to be up to date so you could install this now this is going to be current until 2021 and you are going to get the latest software on your system available through here it doesn't matter whether it goes into the Ubuntu repository. Currently, for instance, on 14.04, I think that the version of LibreOffice that you're getting is like 4 point something or other. LibreOffice is up to 5.2 right now. So in 16.04, the frozen version right now is 5.1 of LibreOffice. You're going to have that for the next five years. And if you want the, for some reason or other, you need to upgrade LibreOffice, Right now, what you'd have to do is probably go hook up a PPA. You'd have to do all this stuff. People who use Ubuntu are used to this. With the snap package coming along, no big deal. You go and download that code off of GitHub, and you put it on your system. And so this is going to be a nice bridge for novice users to be able to do this. Another thing that is happening in Ubuntu Mate is that they are adapting to client-side decorations. Now, this is really technical stuff, but a lot of our packages that we use, for instance, come from the GNOME desktop. Okay, so let's find an application that uses client-side decorations, and this is one of them. We don't have the traditional bar across the top here. What we have is this active bar, like for instance, the settings here in the disk utility, that's where they are. While these kinds of applications, client-side applications, have worked on the Mate desktop and the XFCE desktop, they sometimes didn't work very well and you didn't get all the features. I mean, it, it, it just didn't blend in. One of the things that Martin Wimpress has done in this last week, I was listening to a podcast where he was talking this morning about doing this, is that he has integrated client-side decorations for your Windows into the Mate desktop. Because over time, we're going to get more GNOME-style applications that have this. Whether you think this is great or stupid or whatever, it's going to happen. It's going to work here on Ubuntu Mate, and it's going to continue to work. This is a great distribution of Linux. They have cut through so much of the crap that has made it difficult to get people started with Linux who are novice users. They're not doing this for a hobby. They just want a computer that works, but maybe they want to be in the open source community. It's beautiful. And it's the best of both worlds. You have this, it's kind of weird. It's cutting edge, but at the same time, it's kind of old school because we have the traditional GNOME 2 looking desktop. And then we, you have a terminal here that you can drop down. And, I mean, you know, you can install packages manually from here if you want to. No big deal. Just like it used to be. And then we also have things like client-side decorations that are coming into the system. Okay? And all of this 
stuff coming downstream from the GNOME project and QT is well supported in here as well. All of these underpinnings are so well supported in this system. It's like the best of both worlds. You get that kind of old nostalgia feel for the old GNOME 2 experience and then bam, you know. So I just really cannot begin to tell you how impressed I am with this and I do intend to probably start building the uh, Easy Linux project more around this. In the past it has been okay uh, if you want to use Linux Mint I'll help you do it. If you want to use Ubuntu I'll help you do it. I still will. But if somebody comes to me these days and they say what distribution of Linux should I start with? I'm a total newbie. This is where they're gonna go. It's it's so well thought out. So anyway I just wanted to show you guys that Ubuntu Mate 1604 running on the old Dell Inspiron machine.